All right, welcome back, guys. Hope you're all doing well. It is finally time. Exciting stuff. This is done. I uh, just have to set it up now. This should be, by all accounts, the last video in this series. Unless I'm missing something. Anyway, so we've got this assembled now. I've got it actually tuned up um, for the most part. I've stretched the strings. It's ready to go for, you know, the remaining setup. There isn't a whole lot left to do there. And for a quick demo. And in particular, a um, couple of interesting comments on my last video about palm muting. I think one guy simply said, say goodbye to palm muting because of the Babix bridge here. I'm not sure why. Uh, so we'll demo that. I'll make sure that we can actually palm mute on this thing. <laughs> anyway, um, I did save some footage from what was corrupted for the actual assembly, like putting this thing together in the garage shop. Um, so I'll take a look through that, and if there's any value to it, it'll be added right now. All right, guys, we're going to blast through this here because uh, I lost most of the footage. There's not much to cover, and my voice is bugging me. We're unboxing, opening up our Gun Street wiring shop harness here. I did open this up when I started the build and made sure that all of the pots actually fit through the holes in the body of the guitar because these guys use really high quality parts, but they're a little bit bigger. So sometimes you have to do a little drilling work. Better to do that at the beginning. Um, these things also come with a really nice uh, wiring diagram, which is helpful for me because I'm not very good at wiring. I don't understand it that well. So making sure they fit, they do, even with the finish, that's all good. These pots are, of course, very long. I shouldn't say of course, but they are. Um, they have them like that in case you've got a very thick guitar top. In this case, I need to adjust that height up a little bit. Otherwise, they'll be sticking way out of the guitar. So I'm adjusting that by putting the nuts in. You can see how I've done that. And now I'll have them a little bit more low profile. I'm adding my copper tape to the cavity here, just the electronics cavity. I'm not doing the pickup cavities for a couple reasons. Uh, one, not really needed. All of this wiring is pretty well shielded, and I'm using humbuckers. And two, I don't play gigs. I don't have neon signs around me when I play. None of that. And I don't play with my amp insanely loud. So I don't have to worry so much about, you know, the electronics buzzing. If you are doing gigs and stuff, you'll probably want to shield your pickup cavities as well. I'm using a Sharpie here to burnish this in. I don't know where the tool is that I normally would use, so it still works. You just make sure that all of that tape is pressed down really nicely and sticking properly, and then get everything pressed into place. And unfortunately, that's almost all I have for you on the assembly. I'm putting in my kind of recessed low profile output jack here. I love these. They're my favorite style. Uh, and then my pickups. But I don't have the soldering stuff, and I'm not the guy to learn it from anyway. So, hope that was helpful. Let's get back to the demo. Okay, so with that done, uh, and this thing assembled, the only thing we don't have on here right now is the actual strap, but we've got the strap locks. I just need to buy a strap for it. In fact, I'm going to take those off because this one keeps stabbing me in the leg. These shoulder straps are awesome, um, but they're not exactly low profile. So the nut has already been adjusted. I did all of that before I put it on. I adjusted the height. Uh, everything else looks good. Like I said, I've got some tension on the strings. So the next thing that we need to do here is set our string heights. In the last video, we covered all the adjustability on this Babix bridge. So the first thing we're gonna do is that. We're gonna set our string heights, make sure that they're all reasonable and that we're not getting a bunch of buzz. This is the one that I adjusted downward in that video. So we'll knock it back up a little bit. Make sure we're not getting too much buzz. Then we'll do a quick adjustment of the, um, the intonation. I'm not gonna make this a video about adjusting intonation. There are tons of those out there. I don't need to be the 150th person to do it. I'm sure several of them are very, very good. So if you don't know how to adjust your intonation, intonation, anyway, if you don't know how to adjust that, take a look, lots of great videos. Um, easiest way is get a tuner, go to your 12th fret, play your natural harmonic at the 12th fret and then the actual fretted note and make sure they match. And if they don't match, if it's, you know, too flat, then you're going to need to shorten the bottom part of your string by moving your saddle forward and vice versa. If it's sharp, lengthen the bottom part of your string by moving your saddle backward, test again, but retune every time. Okay. That's the gist of it. Let's get this set up and uh, do a quick demo of it. 
There are two other minor issues here uh, with me demoing this. One is my microphone. I have my SM57 here, um, but I'm not sure I have everything I need to hook it up to my computer to record the demo. But either way, I also can't play loud enough right now for that because I have a very, very small child sleeping upstairs and it's like 11.30 p.m. right now, which is the only time I get to film videos these days. Anyway, so what I'm gonna do, I have a new lab mic set up. It's got two microphones. I'm sorry, the sound quality here isn't gonna be great, but I'm just gonna put that in front of my amp and hope that it works. Um, so yeah, my apologies for that. Sound quality won't be stellar, but if you wanna hear what these pickups sound like, they're awesome. These are the rail hammers. I've got them in a few of my other guitars. I've put them in my last two uh, great guitar build off builds. Those videos are very easy to find. So if you check out the demos for those guitars, you'll get a sense of what kind of quality we're dealing with. All right, enough. Let's get this setup done and do our demo. So starting with our very cool height adjustment here. This string's a little low. We covered this last time. We want to unlock that using the small Allen key that comes with the Babix bridge. So we're gonna get that in there and unlock it. We will in fact do that with all of them. So I'm just gonna go ahead and unlock all of these for starters. And then we'll do our adjustments. So the left one on each saddle is the lock. And then on the right, we have the actual height adjustment. And this is where you may want to get um, a radius gauge. Some people do like doing it with a radius gauge, some don't. So I need to pull this back and up by tightening it. This is the height adjustment. It's on the right, so we'll bring this one up a little bit. I want to keep it nice and low, but not so low that it buzzes. That should be good to go now. I can lock that back in. And I'll just repeat that process with each of them. So my next one over, I want to lower it down. Good. Keep in mind as you adjust these heights, you are changing the tuning. So just bear that in mind as you do it, that's all. All right guys, so I just had maybe one of the weirder experiences of my life. I tuned up after adjusting my heights. Of course, you know, this one I pulled up which tightened the string a little bit, so I had to loosen that. It was a little sharp. The rest of the strings I ended up moving down to get lower action, so they were all a little flat, a little more slack on a string. Had to tune them up a bit. Um, and then I checked my intonations to see how much work I would have to do, and they were all perfect, um, which has never in my life happened to me before. So all perfect. <laughs> I guess I don't have to do any adjustment on that. So just a quick recap, and I covered this in more detail in the last video. Let's talk for just a second about how you adjust this. The intonation adjustment on the Babic system contains two components, a rough adjustment and then the fine adjustment. The rough adjustment is for the entire bridge, and the fine is for each saddle individually, and they, each of those has an adjustment and a lock. So you unlock it, adjust it, and then lock it again. The rough adjustment lock is just these screws that hold down the entire bridge. Loosen them, and then there is an Allen key uh, set screw in the back on each side that you can use to either 
push the bridge backward by tightening it or loosen it to allow the bridge to move forward. Then for each of the saddles, we have the lock in the front, again, same Allen key, and then the adjustment in the back to move the saddle forward and backward. And that's it. I don't actually have to do it, which is wild. So let's go ahead and do our demo, and hopefully it sounds okay. All right, guys. I'll have to ask you to bear with me here. Um, took me about 20 minutes to find a pick, which reminded me that I, one, haven't put all my stuff away from moving yet, and two, haven't played guitar probably since I did the demo video of my last great guitar build off bid, uh, build, um, which was in 2022, not 2023. So <sighs> it's been a while. Uh, hopefully this isn't terrible. Also, <clears throat> unfortunately I have to, I mean, the mic setup isn't good for this and I also have to use the 0.5 watt instead of the 50 or 100 watt. I never use the 100 watt setting on my amp I, in a house. I never do it. Um, but I usually use the 50 because it sounds much better. It, based on the way I have it set up and the child, not going to happen. You'll just get a bunch of terrible garbled nonsense probably. Uh, I think I'd hit the limiter and, well, I'd wake up the kid. So we're using the 0.5 watt setting. Let's just, let's just do it. Um, I prefer to play standing up, but anyway, here we go. So should be all in tune now. The guitar is of course brand new, just built, never been played before. Um, so it will probably, the strings will stretch some more. It'll go out of tune, but for now it's in tune for the moment. I need to raise one of these strings, but for now we'll leave it. Let's try just the neck. I wired the switch backward. It sounds like I wired the switch backward. Um, well, I guess I'll fix that. Right? Oh no, we're good. the strings are stretching. Let me fix that up and we'll continue. Okay, we should be fine there again. Uh, quick demo one. Palm muting? I don't, I don't understand what the concern was there. You palm mute just like any other bridge. This one's actually really nice and rounded. Uh, so it's, <laughs> and, and the saddle comes up well above the actual string. So it's actually much more comfortable to palm mute than your average tunematic. Uh, if you are someone who tries to palm mute right on the bridge for the tunematic, I'm not sure why you would do that, but you won't be able to do that here. It'll just keep bringing out because the bridge is, is higher, but just, just palm mute on the strings like you're supposed to and it'll be fine. Um, so. I think we've debunked that one. All looks good. Action's good, except I need to raise that uh, low E a little bit. <clears throat> I've already given a review of the kit because I could tell right out of the box that it was fantastic, but uh, hey, confirmed. Precision Guitar Kits makes a wonderful kit. Uh, feels good, looks good. I'm very happy with it. We've covered all the components I've put in this thing. I'm going to throw on some distortion because that's the only way I really play guitar and uh, we'll play around for a few minutes. But other than that, I think we're all set. Kit looks awesome. If you want to uh, pick up any of the stuff I used in it, feel free to take a look at the links in the description. We've got precision guitar kits for the kit, 
solo music gear for the bridge and most of the other hardware. Gun Street wiring shop for the fantastic wiring harness here. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, these are rail hammer pickups. We'll put a link for that one as well. And uh, yeah, we've got solo locking, solo pro locking tuners. That's the gist of it. Let's keep playing. It's been so long since I've played. I need to adjust this bridge pickup a little higher too. easier. Alright guys, fingers crossed that that sounded good. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and this series. I'm glad to have it finally completed and excited to move on to the next one, which is going to involve yet another kit from Precision Guitar Kits, um, but it's going to be done in a completely different style. So completely different painting type. It's going to be fun. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please feel free to give the video a thumbs up. I would appreciate it. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, as always, thanks for watching. Have a good one. I'll see you next time.